Hi, I wanted to show some division problems using the standard algorithm. Um, and I'm focusing on two digit divided by one digit in this video. So if I look at number one, my first step is going to ask, can three go into five? Am I able to make a group of three out of five? My answer to that question is yes. So then I need to determine how many groups of three can I make out of five? If I count by threes, three, six, if I count by threes up to two times, then that's too many. So I need to go back. And I know I can make one equal group of three out of five. And so that number one goes right above the five. So again, that one represents one group of three that I can make out of five. So I need to check that. My next step will be to multiply three times one, which gives me three. And that three goes right below the original five that I was trying to make. <clears throat> my next step is to subtract five minus three and I'm left with two. I've made it this far, I should check my math. I know that three times one is equal to three. Five minus three is equal to two. Perfect. Now I restart. Just like I asked how many groups of three can I make out of five, I need to ask how many groups of three can I make out of two. I cannot make any equal groups out of two for three. So I need to bring down the nine. Now I can ask how many equal groups of three can I make out of 29? Again, I go back to my multiples of three and I count. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So I counted up 10 times by three and I got to 30, but that's too much. So I need to go back one and I know that I can make nine equal groups out of 29. So that nine goes right above the 29. Again, I need to check my math. So I need to multiply. Three times nine is equal to 27. And then I subtract that 27 from 29. And I'm left with two. There's nothing else to bring down. I know that three cannot go into two equally. So that becomes my remainder. Now I can check my work and I definitely encourage those to do so by multiplying the answer that I got um, by the divisor. So what that looks like is I can multiply 19 times three. Remember, I'm trying to get to 59. If I multiply um, 19 times three, I always start in the ones place. So nine times three is 27. And then three times one is three, plus two more is five. And I got 57. Remember, I needed to get to 59. There is a difference here. But I also had a remainder of two. So that remainder I can add at the end, seven plus two is nine, five plus nothing is still five. So there we go, 59, 59. So the answer to 59 divided by three is 19 with a remainder of two. All right, let's try it one more time with number two. Again, my first step is always going to be 
can I make an equal group of six out of eight? Yes. Then I need to ask, how many equal groups of six can I make out of eight? If I count by sixes, six, 12, 12 is too many, so I need to go back one. I can make one equal group of six out of eight. So that one goes right above the eight. My next step is to check my math. So I need to multiply six times one, which gives me six. Next, I need to subtract. 8 minus 6 gives me 2. Great. Let me check my math before I move any further. 6 times 1 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. Perfect. Just like I did with the 8, I need to ask how many groups can I make out of 2? Two? 2 is less than 6, so I know I cannot make any equal groups out of 2 for 6. So I need to bring down the three. Now I can ask, how many equal groups of six can I make out of 23? Again, I'll go back to counting by sixes. Six, 12, 18, 24. So that's too many, so I need to go back one. So I can make three equal groups out of 23. So that three goes right above the 23. And I'm right back to where I started. I need to multiply 6 times 3 to check my math. That was equal to 18. Then I need to subtract 23 minus 18. I know I need to borrow from the tens, please. Make this a 13. 13 minus 8 is 5. 1 minus 1 is still nothing, so I'm just going to leave it there. There's nothing else to bring down, and 5 is less than 6, so that 5 becomes my remainder. Again, I always love to check my math. So I need to multiply my answer by what I divided by and see what I get. If I multiply 13 times 6, Again, always start in the ones place. 3 times 6 is 18. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. Okay, I need to get 83, but I got 78. Remember, we need to add in the remainder. So I need to add in 5 before I'm all said and done. 8 plus 5 is 13. 1 plus 7 is 8, and I get 83. So 83 matches with 83. And there you go.